How do you feel about your game today? It was just too long. <laughs> Shame, you're a little bit tired. Uh, yeah, but I mean, like the last 30 moves were perhaps <laughs> useless. Uh, at least you got some rest yesterday going into the second half of the tournament. The first rest day you went on a whole uh, boat yacht. What did you do yesterday to rest and prepare yourself? Mm, nothing special. I walked a little bit around the city, but the weather was rainy. And what else? Went to Starbucks. <laughs> Prepared a little bit. And um, who are you looking forward to playing the most in the coming rounds? Since you've played against everyone uh, so far, which game are you looking out for? Um, I can't say that uh, I'm, there is some special opponent, but uh, I just prefer white games. <laughs> I'm doing better with white than with black here. Funnily enough, Nijet as well, <laughs> but he, he did well at the black pieces today, so hopefully this is, uh, will be good for you both. Um, I think we can also ask for some questions from the audience. I know we have a few people here. Ah, okay, in, even in the line. Uh, so let's say someone starts playing chess after the age of 24, you know, after the brain has fully developed. What do you think realistically is the highest possible r rating that one could achieve? Because all the super grandmasters, they became grandmasters when they were teenagers. So what about someone who starts much later? That happens. <laughs> uh, it's difficult to say. I mean, it depends on a uh, person's uh, skills and uh, talent and gifts. And but of course, uh, it will be well almost impossible uh, to become I don't know 2700 or higher. But let's say um, it also depends on how much time you have. If you, let's say, if you are 24, but still you decide to devote uh, a few years to chess and fully concentrate on chess, uh, taking away all, all the rest, uh, then, uh, well, um, maybe even a grandmaster, but, uh, well, it really requires uh, a lot of years of work. Sacrifice. Uh, yeah. Hi, uh, what would you say for young women aspiring to be uh, chess players or what you're doing basically? <laughs> Uh, uh, no, I think the chess is uh, great uh, and uh, I'm glad that we have more and more girls joining the chess clubs, though still uh, the difference between the number of boys and girls is uh, huge. Uh, but the interest in uh, women's chess is increasing, I think, uh, and also uh, we can see it um, when we look at the tournaments. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I would advise, uh, I mean, even no matter, boy or girl, I would anyway uh, advise uh, them to uh, to try to play the game. <laughs> because even if you don't become a professional chess player, I think chess is an interesting game and uh, uh, chess can help you in many other things uh, you do in life, uh, including the studies, for example, if you start in the uh, young age. Well, thank you very much, Anna.